putting on a good lip liner like let's just let's just examine my lips like <laughs> What type of content are you going to make? I'm gonna be making a lot of content. I know that's very big, but the content I would say for sure, clothing hauls, getting ready with me to go like places, probably vlogs, depending on where I go and who I'm going with, but that's it. Doing hair, makeup stuff, story times for sure. Story times for sure because I have too many stories to explain and say. Definitely reactions. I love reacting to stuff because I like again I say out of pocket stuff all the time. So it's really just me just saying whatever at that point. Opinion based stuff like confessions, any anything like that. And if I could do like pranks or challenges, I would try to do them to my very best. But I'm not really like a prank type of person or like a challenge. Well, challenges I'll do, but like pranks, I'm not really a prank type of person, but I'll try to do it for the channel. Are we getting any spicy videos soon? <laughs> um, For sure, you're definitely gonna get like a story time out of me. I feel like the story times are gonna be like the most spiciest videos in terms of like what the topic is. Hopefully if I do vlogs, or challenges they'll be spicy for sure like i'll try to make it as entertaining as possible or to the extreme without doing too much but to the extreme what is your favorite thing to do my favorite thing to do honestly is listen to music because it's amazing to just be in a room have your headphones in and have nobody talk to you like best feeling in the world best feeling in the world I literally, like, I cannot, I literally did that all day in my normal. What's one strategy you use to overcome stress and depression? Again, listen to music. Like, that's really all I do. It's either I listen to music or talk it out. I need to, like, I need to speak to somebody when I have a problem with something like i kid you not it's like if i don't speak to somebody i'm literally gonna explode and i don't want to explode on the wrong person you what like that sounds crazy um <laughs> i don't want to like wild out on the wrong person and they just say like oh why are you taking out on me like i don't want to i don't want to go through that mess so i usually just talk to somebody about it it could be a friend or whatever or best friend what makes you different Honestly, I wish I could sit up here and be like my personality. My personality is very different from a lot of other people my age, per se. YouTube-wise, I would say I'm just doing this for fun. Like, I want to say nothing about me is going to be really different. I'm in a different environment, for sure, than other YouTubers who, like, have a lot more views and followers, but, you know... The only difference with me is just like the stories that I have to tell and how I go about certain things like other people. That's just really what makes me different. How is life after high school going for you? It could be worse. It could be worse, if I'm being honest. Um, the only bad thing I would say was just like me dropping out of school. That was really it. That's really what took a toll on me the most. We'll get into that again later. What's the hardest thing about college? Probably the financial aspect, if I'm being honest. Like, if you're not financially stable or you don't have a good enough income for college for the next four years, then college, like, going to, like, an expensive college may not be for you. Because for me, I almost ended up enrolling myself into an expensive college, like, midtown in the city like um 
the tuition for the year was gonna be seventy thousand dollars. Yeah, I said seventy thousand dollars, U.S. dollars. Like, I don't know where the fuck they were going with that. But yeah, for the whole two semesters, seventy thousand, and it was gonna keep raising up by at least five grand each year. So yeah, I ended up not going to that school, but that school is in the city. So that was with that was with and without dorming. Like I I did both options, and it still says seventy k. So I was like, mm, no, not doing it. But that school is like a private school. It's not like a SUNY or a QA. So. Do you still have feelings for your ex? We're cool. We're cool. That's all I have to say before I incriminate myself. Worst college experience? Girl! Girl, would I tell you? A girl or boy? My worst college experience was just purchase, period. Like, I can't, I can't say nothing else. Like, I really, I really can't say nothing else. Like, this this school right here i don't know what y'all got in the food the dining hall the water maybe it's the air the air out there when i first went to orientation like i got sick <laughs> i got sick the day before orientation once i went up there and spent the night in a hotel and went to orientation the next day like i got sick so Maybe it's the air. Whatever y'all got in the air over there, reevaluate yourselves. Are you done? Are, are you done? I know I was doing all that rambling, but my worst college experience was probably like my roommate situation. Like, honestly. And a good majority of people know about it, and I will do a story time on it for the people who don't know, but that's like the most difficult part of being at college especially when you're dorming like you can't have a bad room experience and you're going to school like that's gonna like fuck up your whole vibe what's the most bizarre text you ever received i'm not gonna lie i have two answers for this so first one first one was like freshman year i was going back and forth with this dude like somebody that i had went to school with he literally told me that i should off myself and so should my mom and my dad and my mom and my dad don't love me like damn that was the most insane thing to say in like an argument or in a group chat with other people other people that i don't mess with and then also like people that i do mess with like that was the most bizarre thing you ever could have said to even begin with but go off i hope i hope you're doing well in life though like hope you're doing great second second was probably like uh somebody texting me that they wanted to have a threesome with me and my friends like that was probably the craziest that was probably like second craziest yeah that, mm. that one no comment <laughs> no comment biggest goal for the upcoming year learning how to drive that's for sure bettering myself getting into a better college and majoring in music period and learning how to play a different instrument because um because i want to do music i have to learn how to play a different instrument from what i was playing before because i used to play steel pan and for those of you that don't know what it is go look it up um because i'm not gonna explain it a thousand times again so i have to learn how to play a different instrument because it's not gonna take me far if i go to a pwi and probably not gonna take me far even if i go to a hbcu what's your end goal in life my end goal i mean obviously everybody has the same end goal to be successful and to be able to provide for themselves and others i feel like my biggest end goal is to really succeed with music like i really like doing music 
whether it's me actually being an artist or me helping another like major artist or whatever like i want i, I literally just want to see sick of music if i do that i think i would die happy no matter what my problem is like i i'm pretty sure i'll like be in my grave smiling like <laughs> i'll be i'll be okay after i reach my end goal what are your plans to become the person you want to be I just need to get back into journaling because I really I really used to do that before like I used to do journaling prompts all the time and I feel like it kind of helped me better myself as a person and make me think about certain things would you rather be broke with the love of your life or be rich and single I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you I think I'm gonna have to pick the rich and single because I think I could be good by myself. Like, don't get me wrong. I really like money. I like money a lot. Everybody does. Again, I told y'all, I like I like ordering my clothes and getting a package. Like, that's that's literally my favorite thing. But with this generation and dating, like, it gets me so annoyed. Like, just from what I've been hearing, seeing, and just being told, like, it's just not it. If I see myself being in a relationship with anybody else in this generation, that'd be great. That'd be kudos to me. That would be amazing. But the way that y'all be moving, it's just, it's just insane. Bitches too. What y'all be moving? I can't trust y'all. I honestly can't. It gotta give something. I don't know. But I, I'll take the rich and single for. 5,000. Favorite and least favorite things about college? Favorite things? The food wasn't bad at purchase for sure. Like, it wasn't bad. It really depended on what day, what you were craving. I liked that they had a variety of parties. Like, it wasn't only just like raves and shit. Like, soca parties. What was the other ones that we had? Um, Y2K parties. Like, I would say I went to majority of those parties. Like, I'm gonna make another video on purchase, but I'll show you. I'll show y'all those videos though. But majority of the parties were valid to an extent. Also, one of my favorite things was just living by myself. Like, I like having space and time to myself, and I liked it. Like, despite like just having a roommate. Like, my problem wasn't having a roommate. Because even if I'm next to another person, I would still have my space and time to myself. Your whole college life basically surrounds you knowing how to manage certain stuff. And knowing how to manage your time, manage when to go outside, when to be partying, when to get assignments done. It, it just gave responsibility. Like a lot of responsibility. And I felt like that's really what I wanted and that's what I needed too. So that was like one of my favorite things. Least favorite things some of the people um with a lot of the people at college you could tell some of them just never like had a bit of responsibility in their day lives like you could tell that some of their parents was doing certain stuff for them or they just never experienced hardship at all the trials and tribulations of nothing so there's just certain qualities to certain people that are just not there and it's not okay and it, it i'm no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. I'm I was gonna say intelligence wise, but you know, to each his own. To each his own. Least favorite thing was definitely my experience there, though. Like, certain, like, don't get me wrong, like, it wasn't all bad over there, but most of it was very nerve wracking. Do I smoke? Occasionally. Not all the time, though. I, I do it occasionally. Anxiety be kicking my ass, but first time getting high i'm not gonna lie my first time getting high was like with an edible and i think that was sophomore year yeah that was probably like my sophomore or junior year i hate edibles i hate edibles i don't like the way that they make me feel and that shit stays in your system for how long that shit feels like eternity like it's supposed to come out your system within three to five days that shit feels like a whole year well Okay guys, that wraps up my Q&A video. If you guys like the video, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I want you guys to follow me on my social medias. Um, my socials are gonna be in the description below. I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you later.